Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Cat Communicate episode number 9. Okay, the previous episode, um, we went to Komi's uh, grandmother's house and uh, we met the brother the uh, or the uncle and also the cousin of Komi and uh, the cousin kind of like, you know, tried to hang around with Komi before but was unable to because of shyness uh, but this time, like, you know, they had like a nice time all that stuff they the whole thing with the grandma you know like Komi kind of talked with grandma and uh, like told like the grandma asked like are you doing everything is is everything okay at school and all that stuff good stuff happened and um, that was that and then we get to the um fireworks festival episode not episode but uh, the section and uh, it was nice to see Komi and yukata all the other characters as well and then as always, like, you know, in the fireworks festival, the stuff we do, um, the different games, the different uh, things that they do, like, you know, the shooting, the uh, prize of the shelf, and then the candy cutting thing, and a few others, like, you know, foods, uh, food as well, all the other stuff we saw. And Komi kind of tried to, like, you know, <laughs> compliment uh, Tadano, but un because she did not have the book, she wasn't able to, but by the end of it, she was able to do it. <laughs> all, like, you know, that was what happened. And then um, in the ending, we get to see um, them going to Tadano's house this time. And the sister also kind of, I'm not talking about Tadano's sister. She, I think we properly get an introduction of her this time. You know, we get her full face and everything. We kind of got little glimpses of her before. But this time we get a proper, like, you know, picture. And yeah, they kind of, like, you know, hang around. And Komi was able to, like, you know, like, like <laughs> all this time kind of flashed back she kind of like saw that yeah like all this time i never had any friends but this time i have so many friends all that stuff and yeah it was a good it was a good episode happy episode so let's see uh, like all the okomi episodes are happy episodes like what am i even saying but yeah anyways let's see let's see what this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number nine of komi can't communicate so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> hmm. After summer break. <laughs> yep. Whoa, what the? Okay. Whoa, who's this guy? Inaka no Koko. Is she uh, from, uh, I think from one of the outside, like from the countryside or something? Inaka, that's why. Yeah, Inaka. Okay, all right. And the way she talks as well is kind of like you know, if you're from the countryside. Uh, like that little dialect that he she had. Um, the way she talks, I really like this type of dialect. You know, like Japan. Japanese has so many dialects, like Osaka, like you know, dialect, and then this type of a dialect where you're like you know from the countryside, and then there's also that dialect which is one of my personal favorites is the dialect of um like ancient people the way they talked like and <laughs> i don't know what to say like you know like that type of a dialect like like you can see um especially in anime uh courtesans kind of use that dialect like i really love that dialect it's so pleasing to hear and there's also another way of talking which is uh ojo sama's the way ojo sama's talk <laughs> Like Watakushi, all all that. Anyways. Okay, let's see. Inaka, a country girl. There you go. Haha. 
What? No, no one does that. Oh, higher skirt. I love the dialect, the way she speaks. <laughs> oh my god. It's still longer, but you know. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Oh, there's Komi. Komi sama. Oh, her eyebrows. City <laughs> girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Subway. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so. <laughs> okay. This is the sitting. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, she loves. I thought she was going to say that. Can I join? But no, she won't. Saboy. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Wow. Uh, Yamai has competition. Oh my god, Tana no <laughs> I wonder where's Yamai. So there's three people stalking her now. Currently. I'm sure Yamai is somewhere here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Oh. Ah, tactical retreat. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> um no, that's not the case, but you know. <laughs> okay. Tactical retreat again. Or oh, never mind. She will probably okay, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. That's um Um okay she's <laughs> she's so short circuited Yeah <laughs> She came out <laughs> Oh my god Ugh. <laughs> so I was like, what's happening here? Yeah. Um okay she did, okay, there you go. Wrong order. Be grateful <laughs> that the god is herself. <laughs> oh my god. Video games. Okay, this should be interesting. Hmm. Naka Naka. Oh, Naka Naka. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, what is this girl even saying? 
Is that a okay message tone? <laughs> oh my god, this girl's full on tuny. Okay. Alright, let's see. <laughs> the dog. Um Welcome to my abode. Oh <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Wow, she even has a Okay, let's see if I can recognize any of the figurines. Nope. Pachira. Re oh my god. Okay. Re zero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, that's a really good setup. Is, is that like a ReZero reference, I think? Especially the logo. I think so. Yeah, I think it's a ReZero reference. That's, there's an elf there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful than reality. <laughs> well, relatable. Very relatable. Yeah, obviously she's completely new to this. She won't understand. <laughs> Light user. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone's going There you go, Tatana's here as well. <laughs> Is chat okay? <laughs> Namagura. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. The references. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> oh my god, he is teaching her. <laughs> They're fighting against each other. Thanos also probably not that much <laughs> accustomed to this. Wow, Komi self destructed. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what? <the> <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> An anime power-up scene. Yes, the friendship power. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Whoa, come in, much sad. <laughs> wow, good. There you go. <laughs> First win. <laughs> Everything goes. This is a battle. This is a battle. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Doing part time. Okay. Is Komi going to do part time? That is something I don't know how it will work, but. The way she answers the phone. Okay, I'm sure everyone will come here because Komi is here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wait, who's inside? Is that Tadano? I don't think that's Tadano. Who's that? <laughs> I wonder if everyone is like the childhood friend of handing out dishes. Everyone's going to go. <laughs> uh. I thought everyone was going to take, but oh, I guess it's kind of the same like how it happens in school. Everyone's like in awe that, oh my God, look at this girl. How amazing she is. I think that's Tadano. That's Tadano most probably. Ooh. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> MP. Yeah. Wait, who's this? What? Wait, what's her name? I did not... I did not pay attention. Is she unlucky or something? Teshigawara Yoshiko. Teshigawara Yoshiko. Okay. What? Go and take it if you want. What the hell? <laughs> wow. Oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> oh my. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Now everyone's going to... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> everyone's coming to take tissue. <laughs> There's a line now. How the... Okay, she's a, a stalker. So obviously she'll be here. Five per person. Wow. <laughs> I think that's not, I don't know. That's obvious. Well, because of him, Tadano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the little the match girl. Something on your face. Oh, Tadano says, okay. It's like, what? Oh, what is that? A seed? Huh? 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a seed, isn't it? Something. Maybe some kind of... Wait, what's... are you really... Whoa, what? <laughs> the dilemma. Just... Wait, what's happening? Why does everyone... Um, is this a new trend? What is happening? Um, is this like a prank that they're playing on the her? Oh, that was a dream. Okay. <laughs> I was like, are they pranking her or something? Oh no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow, she she has what do you call it the the uh, the ability to see in the future now. In dreams. Oh my, it's still there. Why is no one telling him what's happening? Um. Uh. <laughs> Call me when. Oh, wait, what? Oh. So, call her Shoko? Is that what she's saying? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, enough. Okay. He still has that in his mouth. What's happening? <laughs> oh my. Wait, what? <laughs> How did she get it? Oh my god. True, very true. Okay. Um Yes. <laughs> mm, no, yeah, that doesn't work. I don't know, maybe make a recording and just send it via <laughs> Social media? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why did you not say that before? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well, um, no new friends here, but we kind of got a few more people as acquaintance. Not acquaintance, we kind of 
met them like there's this one not one but uh two girls this is one girl who was uh, inaka that girl i think that was her name yeah she's not a friend but she i guess her admirer or whatever <laughs> stalker number two <laughs> and um <clears throat> there's that other girl um the one with the tissue who i doubt who is in the school she she, she seemed like some kind of a um i don't know some kind of like gra like someone someone in college or something i don't know like she, she seemed like a lot older than them so i doubt she'll become friends with komi but um inaka probably has chances of becoming friends with her in the future so yeah for a few episodes komi is not getting new friends that's kind of concerning isn't it <laughs> oh my god like in the beginning she was getting friends like every episode but now she's like yeah let's see if inaka is shown in, in this one i i did i wasn't able to properly check is that it or is there something else okay that's it let me check that portion again do we have inaka in the end just a second okay um okay let's see um i don't think she is in here yeah she's not in here i don't see naka here so yeah she's she's not a friend she's kind of like you know just looking at her from uh far and that's just it so yeah uh friend count is still the same but i'm sure it'll increase in the upcoming uh, few episodes i don't even know how many episodes will this season have like um <laughs> like gomi manga is quite ahead like it has like 200 plus chapters so i don't know i i can probably hope for a 24 episode anime season but i don't know like i'm not so sure so we'll have to see like it's not even mentioned how many episodes this season will have i don't think they have mentioned so hopefully this has a 24 episode like you know thing so that we get more coming because i really like this show this is something that is like you know it's such great to kind of uh chill and just watch you know like like anime like most of the animes are kind of like you know action packed and all that stuff slice of life kind of gives like you know heals your heart kind of makes you you know like a little bit chill and you can just enjoy yourself without some mind-boggling um like, <laughs> conspiracy stuff as you see in anime like you know, in one anime there's like some kind of um huge battle is happening and then there's another anime when there's some kind of mind games are being played and then there's komi can't communicate where you just like you know just sit down and have like you know have like a nice time so i really want this to continue um like you know like even after this like after december like if this is a two core anime then we'll have this up until march so i really want that but yeah we'll see you know like usually 24 episodes and episode animes are a bit rare but there is a chance of komi having that because komi's manga is very ahead a, a lot ahead so yeah we'll see <clears throat> But anyways, um, okay, so here in this episode, the first girl we meet is Inaka. Um, I like I kind of know what her name means, but still, let me check if there is um any other things that we can understand from her name. Let me check her wiki page. Um, let's see. Her name is Inaka No Nokoko. Okay, Inaka no. I I understand what Inaka means. What does Nokoko mean? uh okay it's not written here okay it's not written but <clears throat> i'm not sure what nokoko means but inaka obviously inaka means from the countryside and <clears throat> yeah like it's her name obviously as usual like as all the other uh characters in this anime uh, her name pretty much tells what she is like who she is so <laughs> excuse me she's from the countryside and as i said i love the little dialect that she has like that countryside dialect and um <clears throat> dialect in itself is very pleasing to hear like it's like a little uh, change in the way people talk and i just love that so much whatever dialect osaka dialect this type of dialect 
or the way like you know um ancient people talk that dialect all the other dialect ojo sama dialect all that stuff i love them and <clears throat> this girl has <coughs> countryside dialect and yeah she is here and she she's pretty <coughs> shy you can say in a way but more nervous than shy i have to, like you know because she is a bit concerned about how people will react after learning that yeah she's from the countryside um obviously people don't react in any way she's just a little bit paranoid and uh, yeah that's why she probably doesn't have much friends she kind of just is like a loner and she her main goal is becoming like komi <laughs> okay and like the funny thing is she actually doesn't realize how much similar she is to komi because you know both of them kind of keeps quiet both of them doesn't interact much and <laughs> you know like nervous and everything so yeah she's pretty much same same to komi san but she needs to get that uh, what do you call that the out outer presence i think that's a word you know that the, the presence like you know like which komi has a lot like you know her outside her um you know people seeing her kind of become uh uh like you know very fascinated in everything like people call her a goddess and stuff like that type of an outer um yeah like outer what do you call it spark that she has she needs to get that and uh, uh, uh i'm talking about inaka and then she'll become completely like komi you know like everyone will be <laughs> like revering her as a goddess but she herself will be pretty quiet and everything so yeah anyways so yeah here um <clears throat> she decides to not um yeah stalk in a way <laughs> komi she decides to do that she decides to follow her and see how she does stuff how she buys a uh, sandwich from subway <laughs> so yeah now <laughs> that's a funny scene like tadano was like you know obviously tadano was concerned about what komi is going to do so she he followed her and tadano was like wait a minute i think there's another stalker that's following us now we have two stalkers and if you include me that means three so <laughs> this girl is following komi i'm sure yamai was here somewhere around kind of hiding and <laughs> tadano is also there so <clears throat> okay so komi goes in the um in subway and you know like she tries to get stuff unfortunately she's unable to unable to and people kind of misunderstand again they were like you know inaka was like oh she is so cool that she doesn't even need to say anything and <laughs> okay but in reality komi is just nervous so <clears throat> yeah and by the end of it everything kind of worked out well i guess in a way because uh, the employee was like okay like you don't need to say that anything i'll just give you what you know like i think it's the best <laughs> but as always when she, she goes back Na uh, najimi is like wait this is wrong i didn't ask for this but then as soon as komi starts crying najimi is like okay forgive me <laughs> i won't do that again <laughs> okay and it was nice to see like you know inaka kind of actually go and actually what can i say like interact with other people and um get the thing that she wants the sandwich that she wants and yeah like after, like i guess like you know the following komi kind of helped her out in a way she was able to actually interact with other people and hopefully she continues this and becomes more comfortable around all the other people like she's saying some kind of like this like this thing i like you know like she's kind of saying that oh but when people will learn that i'm from the countryside they'll make fun of me uh she said something like this throw stones at me or something <laughs> i'm like that's a bit exaggerated but still like you know that's that like a type of uh fear that she has and like yeah it's not that i doubt something like that happens like you know if suddenly if you get to learn that yeah your class mate is from the countryside like then what like i don't think there's any problem there so i'm not sure about this but maybe she had this kind of a fear that yeah people won't actually i don't know take her seriously or something like something like that probably she was a little bit fearful but i doubt anything like that is going to happen <clears throat> But yeah, she needs to get comfortable in this. Okay, anyways, that was that, and then we get to the gaming portion where, uh, um, okay, what was her name? Na Nakanaka, wasn't it? I I always I'm I'm like there there's a few 
uh, new characters that we have met so i'm kind of mixing up the names now uh i think that was her name uh, i'm talking about the chuni girl uh naka 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 yeah naka naka that's her name yeah that was her name um i kind of mixed her name up again okay naka naka so we get go to her house and like i think there was a few references that they kind of tried to do here with the posters i feel like this like one was gundam most probably another was re-zero i think the one with the elf girl the, the one beside that i think it was uh, uh i think what was it called the galactic the legend of the galactic heroes or something no uh i love like actually you know trying to find out these references ginga au densetsu i think that was the name yeah legend of the galactic heroes i'm not sure if that was that but it feels like the the poster beside that is a reference of that i don't know what the poster beside that is like the one with i don't know is that a I don't know what, what what's the one beside it. I know I don't know what reference is that, but anyways, like I think these are all like anime references. <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, um, uh, we go to Nakanaka's room and she's like, oh, there's also an Akira reference, I think. Yeah, it's called Chira or something. I think that was an Akira reference. <laughs> I love these references, you know, they make. These references are a bit difficult to actually understand because they were a little bit more creative with it. But yeah, anyways, um, okay, enough with the references. Oh no, it's called Pachira. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> that's an Akira reference, I'm sure of it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> again, we go to, uh, like, you know, like, the, since Komi is very nervous and obviously um, for... Uh, Nakanaka, this is like you know when she was uh, opening the game she was like oh look at this such graphics such beautiful story which is extremely relatable like you know like i'm sure all of us who uh, play games and everything we, we we can relate to this like you know like <laughs> like appreciating a good game with a good uh, story and good graphics like yeah so anyways um but unfortunately Komi is completely new to this so she's like what's happening here <laughs> i don't understand so she calls for backup, Nakanaka, which is um, uh, Najimi and Tadano. <laughs> and they have like a nice little time. They're playing, you know, they played a little video game and Komi was unable to do anything. Um, <clears throat> but Tadano helped her. I was teaching her while <laughs> Nakanaka and um, uh, Najimi, they were like fighting. Nakanaka was like, yeah, I'm going to protect Komi. <laughs> this is the first time she's in my house <laughs> and they were all fighting and everything komi does a mud slap or whatever that was <laughs> and yeah they, um, uh, i think this is the first time that actually nakanaka wins she says something like that yeah, yeah this is the first time i went against uh, i won against um, najimi and obviously like she also knows najimi because najimi is everyone's childhood friend so <laughs> she was also her childhood friend as well so yeah <clears throat> Right, and then in the next section we go to the part-time job part where Gomi is trying to hand out tissues unfortunately since like you know like everyone's like because like you know uh, preoccupied with their own thing no one was kind of um, <clears throat> looking at her and she obviously she has like a little less presence than other people and that's why people weren't noticing her but the thing that helped her her was this girl uh, the girl that really wants some tissues Teshigawara Hoshiko now I don't know if her name also has some kind of a it's like a wordplay or something uh, what's the name Teshigawara Hoshiko Teshigawara Hoshiko now I'm not so sure. Teshigawara, Hoshiko. Oh, Hoshiko. Okay, the girl who who wants something. Hoshiko. Hoshi means I want, and ko is girl, so she wants something. That's why she want, was wanting tissue. I don't know what Teshigawara does. Teshigawara has like a deeper meaning. 
Teshikawara Hoshiko's name means a girl who really wants tissues. Oh, really? Okay, Hoshiko is obviously who, like a girl who wants something. So Teshigawara means something tissue related. Teshigawara. Okay, I'm not sure about Teshigawara, but Hoshiko is like a girl who wants something. All right, so that's the... <laughs> that's her name. Wait a minute, so what? She wants a tissue? That's her name? Okay, so so what's her like? You know, what does she do? Like, she is it that she always wants tissues or something? Probably. <laughs> That's weird, but yeah. Anyways, um. Uh, okay, so yeah, she comes and she wants the tissues, and there's like a little JoJo confrontation where both of both Komi and both of them were like standing, and then finally she, <laughs> both of them approaches each other. Tishigawara kind of quickly goes and just grabs the tissue out of her hand and she was like thank you for giving me this and i looking at that everyone was like oh wait so she is handing out tissues okay i was confused because she was standing there but yeah she's handing out tissues so let's go and grab some and now because of that everyone kind of gets like the uh what do you call it um it goes and tries to get tissues from komi and obviously as soon as everyone knows that she's handing out tissues there was a huge line of people just wanting to get tissues from komi <laughs> And I don't know where the hell Yamai pop up from, but obviously she's Komi's official stalker. So yeah, she's supposed to be there, I guess. And when she saw that Komi is in trouble, she's like, let me just come out and, you know, help her out. <laughs> and they made a little line and everything. And yeah, all the tissues was gone in, in a matter of seconds. And inside that uh, bear costume was Tadano. Like that was pretty obvious. <clears throat> Okay, and then in the next scene, we kind of get a little part of Komi actually dreaming of that whole, like, you know, thing in the face. Like, <laughs> like, like I, I really did not understand in the beginning what the hell was happening because everyone had that thing in their mouth. I was like, wait a minute, is this like a prank or what is this? Like, or is this like, is this Komi's delusion or something? But then I realized that, oh, it was a dream. Like, that was a weird dream to have. But, you know, dreams are weird. So nothing you can do about it. But with this, Komi unlocked a new power, which is <laughs> which is looking into the future because the next day, <laughs> Tadano comes in with the thing in her in his face, and Komi was like, you know what? Let me just ignore this <laughs> because she said nothing about it. And then the thing that she says actually was is that why are you not calling me by my name, by my first name, and. <clears throat> Because you call Najimi by her name, uh, why not me? But as Tadano said that, yeah, like, I'm a bit, you know, like, because you're a girl, I'm, I'm a bit kind of hesitant to do that. <laughs> my god, like, Najimi's like, wait, so I'm not a girl? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, and by the end, they, Tadano kind of called her by the name, called her Shokomi, like, not full, but kind of, she said half of her name. I guess that's a progress. <laughs> but unfortunately, Komi was able, able, unable to say anything. And like, uh, Najimi was kind of right. Najimi was like, okay, so you want him to call you by your name. You also have to do it. Like, you know, uh, like equivalent exchange. But this is a very hard, uh, high hurdle for Komi because she doesn't even talk to anyone. So calling someone by their first name is like, like an impossible task for her. So unfortunately, she wasn't able to do it. <laughs> and they were like, you know what, let's just go back to calling ourselves by our last names. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was it. So yeah, that was this episode. So that was a nice episode again, you know, lighthearted and everything. And um, still, we don't have any more friends. We didn't get any friends here. But I'm guessing Inaka will probably become a friend. Hopefully in the future, or she'll probably just hang around in the background, like either of it. We'll see. So... Yeah, that was it. So that's this uh, episode. This was my reaction to episode number nine of Komi Can't Communicate. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Komi Can't Communicate. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.